Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The Curse of Oak Island Preview A new discovery could see the team rewriting the history of North America. The Curse of Oak Island is back tonight as the team hits the swamp and makes a discovery that could see them rewriting the history of North America. The show constantly blends the team's hunt for treasure with their simultaneous search for the truth and the history of this remarkable island. And this week, as the digging at the garden shaft for the money pit continues, the guys are set to make a discovery in the swamp that has massive historical implications. The Fellowship of the Dig are only just back working the swamp following a hiatus on all activities in that area, lasting over a year. They now have the permits to continue excavating, and last week they drained the swamp. They have already found a ramp that they suspect links the old stone roadway with the paved area. However, on tonight's episode, the Legina brothers and the gang hear from a new expert who suggests that what they have found is a game changer. It's unclear if this is connected to the ramp or if they have made yet another fresh discovery in the swamp. Whatever has happened, it's enough to make Marty Legina say, this could have a worldwide impact. Also on tonight's show, the guys are back on the newly acquired Lot 5, and Marty is overheard in a trailer ordering the guys to dig the heck out of Lot 5. Gary Drayton and Jack Begley duly get to work and uncover another fabulous artifact. The coin-shaped object certainly gets the pair super excited, and leads to archaeologist and metallurgist Emma Culligan working her magic in the laboratory again. She claims it comes from Sardinia, off the coast of Italy. Gary has already uncovered an ancient Roman coin that dates back to 300 BC on Lot 5. According to a trailer, Rick Lagina claims they are back on the Trail of the Templar Knights. He could be referring to whatever was discovered in the swamp or Gary and Jack's artifact, or both. Meanwhile, at the garden shaft, the Dumas Mining Company is continuing with drilling, and the outfit must be getting close to the approximately 80-foot bottom. With only a few episodes left, the team must be hoping that something worthwhile will be found. They have discovered plenty of gold traces in the area and in some wood samples so confidence remains high. As Oak Island project manager Scott Barlow said, no matter what we're into in this area, whether it's wood or water or soil, we're getting gold.